Alright, so I never really thought I would be making this video. But this is what Vinland Saga is complete garbage. So here's the hero. This guy was a Stephys assassin, a rogue. And then he ended up turning into this. So basically, how did we get this face? He went into a battle and look at soldiers who came to fight and take over his uh, his master's uh, area. So basically, he is in slavery right now, and he went to the field to talk with the king, who was uh, pretty much like he worked with the king pretty much he was like a guard in a sense they were trying to like transport a king or something and he wanted to talk with the king and then the guard said no and then uh the guy started uh mocking him and uh they form a bet and they started betting on uh, how many hits he can take before he he get knocked out or whatever and so he asked what is going on and then they said oh we are betting on how much hit you can take and then he said okay okay oh wow this this is amazing i guess i'm gonna just participate in this because it's really fun so i'm, I'm gonna come here and i'm gonna stand and get my face messed up like this by the people who are, who are already messing up my face who really don't care anyways but i'm just gonna go there and uh, actually participate in a bit so that there isn't really a feeling attached to it because now it's more like a competition uh, how much can i get my face hit in comparison to oh i came here to talk with the king but these guys are just not being uh understanding of the situation is actually a competition now instead of actually uh you know something that you know you can relate to this this dwarf in here did not he didn't learn any lesson about like real life in a sense uh he i can say he's more like a philosopher or something and they are trying really hard to make him look like a, a like you know, somebody from the bible or like some kind of spiritual person or whatever and that's what makes the the uh vinland saga really dog shit because we were thinking about a, a guy who was raised to be a mercenary was raised to be cold and they realized that being cold wasn't good but just realizing that being cold isn't good doesn't mean that you can't go back i mean you can uh use that skill that you learn to actually help yourself in situation where you need to help yourself it's very much like he pretty much changed into like the opposite of what he's he's the character is supposed to be and i mean his dad is uh his dad was a warrior with a philosopher type of mindset but i don't think his dad would do something like this this year is 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 failure this this is a failure for character development or if it is you know fader if they really wanted to write it like this this year is a bad a bad example for people to watch okay it's a warrior movie but it is really it's it is it isn't really a warrior movie anymore and that's you can say um the movie is bad because it started off by giving the impression that it was going to be a warrior movie a warrior series but then it ended up being something more like a religious a philosophical uh, textbook content and that's not what people want to watch 
well that's not what i want to watch when i watch something that introduces itself as a warrior movie i want to watch a warrior uh he learned good lessons and actually put it into action and learn from his mistakes and whatnot this year is not a learning from a mistake it's like a whole brand new character this is like if you separated this series from this starting series you could make a whole a new branch of uh, movies on the uh, first season or whatever and this one here you could just make a whole different this one here is a completely different uh, movie in itself series itself so this guy is a clown this is not the tour thing that people want to watch like I, that I would want to watch it's a clown like look at his nose complete clown and the voice acting is also very trash actually the voice acting, acting is not trash like the voice actual uh, um acting actually sh try to show like the actors actually try to show like how trash the 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 writing actually is like just listen to this like this guy here is a giant this guy is a fighter i mean look at his face he doesn't look tired this is not a tired face this here is like <laughs> it's like I, this this is part of the writing so i guess i'm i'm going to have to play along with the writing this is not a tired face right i've seen tired face and uh drawn in car in cartoons for a long time animation or whatever this here is not a tired face so not only does the artist i mean does the artist actually try to uh, show how bad the writing is the voice actor also try to show how trash the writing is and just listen to this oh. hail son of thor's thorfinn i'm sorry i doubted you i'm sorry i doubted you can you like can you actually feel like the um can you like tell that he's actually laughing while he re he record his voice because all i hear is like pure laughter like somebody come up to you it's like all right so you are angry i mean like you want to take something and then somebody come to you you are taking that thing away and then somebody come to you and and uh stand in front of you and say oh i want to talk to the person who sent you to come take this away and then you your friends stand around and say hey guy look let's see how how much of this thing this uh, um our friend can take away uh before this uh person who owned this stuff actually gets angry or something and then you just stand there and say oh well, since there's a competition of like how much stuff this guy can take away, I'm just gonna stand here and let him take it away. You see how dumb that writing, that logic is. It's not. It's the competition is not in his favor. It was never in his favor. He was never considered in the picture of the overall thing, grand scheme of things. So, thinking that this giant can get tired from 100 blow to this guy of this stature it's it's just really bad writing i don't care how strong you are like this man is not this guy with the eye patch he's not he's not a basic person like he leads an entire army of mercenary and he was actually integrated into the uh king's army Okay, so he's not like a regular guy. Like, look at his scars and, and stuff. He's not a regular person. And then they, they try to make his hair curly and whatnot. No, 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 no. He's not a basic person. Okay, he's a berserker. Alright. He's a wild, wild berserker. And just for him to get tired after 100 blow, this guy swings like really heavy weapons like all day that's what he been doing pretty much and leading men and, and whatnot it's not like the training that this guy went through is different from what this person went through they pretty much came from the same type of training 
he's he was in a mercenary. This guy too is is part of a mercenary. Pretty much born and raised there, and he never left. So there's no nothing special going on here, apart from this guy just being a pure uh, failure of a character. Not an idiot. It's it's more than being an idiot. It's like his writing is just so bad that it, it, it defies logic. And it's it's more like a like a philosophy in a sense than logic. So a true warrior. <sighs> you are a true warrior. That's not what a warrior is. This is not what a warrior is, okay? This is not what a warrior is. Okay. This is a philosopher. He's a true philosopher. Okay. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Chief Thane. Anyways, that's all I wanted to share, and uh, that's Vainland Saga, the the worst uh, follow-up uh, show of all time, series of all time. Thanks for watching.